All right, we are back. Part three. We always say repetition is the mother of skill. So the more we repeat, we repeat things over and over, the more skillful we become. So here we're just repeating our pattern of um, starting off with a thumbnail or small composition or small small comp as we call it. We worked out our idea. We used a photograph or a picture or something we clipped out of a magazine or a book. We set it up across from us and taped it up on our wall or an easel or something we have across from us. We sketched it out, then we painted it, and then we used this for our guide. And then we started again the same process, just we used a larger format, a larger piece of paper, we taped our edges around, we sketched out the same scene, contour, we did a contour drawing, carefully watching our angles, keeping the pencil in our hand on the paper, moving around carefully, watching the angles, the shapes, carefully um, capturing the, the essence of the scene we, we see before us. And then we did our first glazing, which was cobalt blue with a little bit of burnt umber, a touch of uh, raw sienna along the horizon line, and quick brush strokes. We used, again, uh, larger larger brushes now because we're working in a larger section of our paper, or we're, we're using a larger format, so we use bigger brushes. We use, we use more of our palette. So we're using all the sections of our palette. We're mixing up lots of paint, lots of uh, mixes on our palette to get our our paint down on the paper. This is more of a faster and looser, looser uh, technique we're using today. We're using the glazing technique, light to dark, light colors first, and then we're going to go in with our darks now. And um, here we let the paper dry completely. So I let this dry. It goes through a transformation. When you see the paper buckling, it's still not dry. It's damp, but it's getting there. And then once you see the paper lying more flat, that means it's back to a nice dry um, state. And that's when we can go in into our, our final um, darker tonal, tonal values here. So We'll do our, our, our uh, again, our habits of fresh, clean water now. We have our palette. We take our palette. We make sure we, even if we're just using a few colors, let's keep the good habit of taking the paper towel and just uh, tidying up our palette here. So when we start off, we have fresh new paint. And we're ready to go back in and we'll do some darks here. And we're going to use the same colors that we used in our composition, our first composition. French ultramarine, burnt umber, um, burnt sienna. And we're going to get those darks that we're looking for here. So we're just going to... The sun, sunlight in this scene is kind of coming from the left side across here in the picture, and it's behind these buildings. So these buildings are actually in shade, and there's some light, there's some sunlight kind of back over here in the distant uh, portion of the uh, painting. So we make note of that because we're carefully looking at the, um, the photograph or the um, picture, picture we've taken. And again, I'm using different brush strokes. As you can see, I go one way. This changing around the brush strokes always looks good. Okay. Then we maybe do a little added touch to the to the roof there. 
Okay, and here we're going to go in and we'll do this rooftop. Again, I'm mixing different colors, so here I'm using uh, raw sienna, burnt umber, burnt sienna, cobalt blue, and French ultramarine blue as well. And then to get that darker underside of these, this this um, cottage here along the shoreline, almost uh, pr practically no water at all, just basically straight paint, burnt umber, French ultramarine blue, and burnt sienna to get that rich dark. And we go in and here I'm going to do a little bit of green mixed in with that color and I'm just going to try to do some 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 bushes and weeds over here some splashes maybe same color Then up here, I'm going to mix in some cobalt blue and some raw sienna. And then here, I'm just doing some quick, fast, you know, um, bushes. So now I'm going to step up the pace a little bit. Um, I kind of already did that first composition, so I already have all the. I, I'm already very familiar with what I have to do, and that's the reason why I would suggest always trying to maybe work that out a little bit beforehand for a fast painting like this. This is more of a fast, loose painting, so that's why I would do that composition first, the first smaller one. If you're painting a la prima and going a little at a more moderate pace, you might not have to do the composition first because you'll have more time to kind of work your thoughts through. And so it's all just a matter of thinking through the painting and what has to be done to ensure that you get uh, the, the res end result you want. So if you want a fast, loose, fresh looking painting like this here, with a quick, fast, you know, technique, then you have to, you're, you're better, you're, you're way to your advantage to do a small comp first, and then, uh, and then do the f finished painting. And I'm going to underdo this one quite a bit so we can get this done in three three parts. And then I'm going to go in and start back with my French ultramarine blue and burnt umber to get my boats. This sometimes works really good, leaving some space between a shape you're painting to kind of show the line of the back of the boat and then the side of the boat. And then you can come back and like, you know, later, later, maybe another, you know, 10 minutes later, you can come back and just sort of, you can leave the highlight there too, or you can just blend it in if you want. OK, 
Okay, so we got that. As you can see, there's kind of some spots of darks in this painting, and it's mostly middle tones. That makes a great effect of, you know, interesting shapes throughout your painting. And I'll go in, we'll, I'll get a little more green. And then here I'll probably do more a sand type feel over here. So I'm just going to do some splashing over here for some sand kind of feel. Drag my brush across towards this side here. And I'm going to use a little bit of a dry brush technique here. See, I just drag along, along the paper really lightly and you get that kind of a broken broken feel across the paper. This is a rough paper, rough textured paper. So if you use that uh, technique where you just lightly drag the brush across, you get, you get that nice feel of uh, sand and rocks and things. And I'll step up the pace a little more here. We'll just get these in, these other boat shapes. Okay, and then for the masks, I'll use Burnt Umber, French Ultramarine Blue. And I'll use my uh, tissue to dry off this here a little bit quick. And we'll just... Then we can go in and... Add some darks to... to kind of, you know, make it interesting, not just all one tone. Then we go in and we could also get a, we can get a sword, sword liner brush with a really nice uh, point and uh, we can do some more finer detail and then we can, as the mats go into the distance, they're smaller, so that looks a little better, more realistic that the Masks look a little bit uh, thinner. And I put in some boat shapes there. And then some ropes and rigging kind of looks good. And there's some more sailboats in the distance there. Maybe some over here too as well, so we put some in here. Okay, so that's that's the kind of the feel for it. You know, a fast, loose painting, two glazings, you know, the darks, the lights, the lights first, then the darks over the top. And again, we worked it out. We, 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 the key, the key thing in this um, video series here is getting this smaller composition done first, working out your colors, your, your design, your shapes, your uh, mixes of colors. And then you go in right after that and you do your finished painting, larger size, larger scale, larger piece of paper, larger brushes, more water. You're using more of your palette. You're using a lot more of your palette, the space on your palette, more water, and you're working quicker. And you have it. You have a nice stepped up size. And we'll see you on the next video.